Hello, it's my reaction to the Albanian National Final 2020. Welcome to Matt Loves Eurovision. If you please do click on the subscribe button uh, or on the notification bell, and as always, please do like, share, and comment below. So we've had the first national final of the Eurovision 2021 season, uh, and traditionally it takes place around Christmas, so while the Albanian final is called Festival de Ikengiz, abbreviated uh, to FIK, F I K, we often know amongst the Euro fans as Fickness. A um, bit different this year, uh, obviously with Covid. Um, the long running uh, song festival, which was in its 59th edition uh, this year, um, was all held outside, um, which did lead to some interesting. Uh, uh, given this is in Tirana in December, did lead to some of the performers. Uh, you could see the cold breath as they were performing, as of course they were performing at night as well. But it did all look uh, you know, very impressive uh, and was, you know, everything got through quite swiftly as well, which was quite good. Um, the, it was all pre-recorded, so no live audience um, this year. So it was quite a few changes, and of course no live orchestra either. So there were a few changes, naturally, but they still want to take to have their national final uh, take place. And there were some really interesting uh, performances. Uh, we had Ero Rusi, who has been in um, Festival Can Guess before. She performed a, a right on, a full on ethno banger. It was a lot of fun. Um, I don't think it was ever likely to win, sadly. Um, there was another really interesting uh, artist, uh, Marud, who is openly gay, um, put on a really interesting, and a really nice up, kind of mid to up tempo, kind of very ethnic flavored song, with interesting choreography and costumes. And, and um, live vocal wasn't so great for him, I have to say. Um, so not surprised that he didn't win. Um, and he said he won't be coming back to the contest, sadly. But I think, you know, it's been great to have someone LGBT kind of that, um, you know, visible uh, at in Albania and at the Albanian national final. The big fan, the big favourite amongst fans and generally was accepted would be Inis Nizeri, um, seeing uh, Pendeze, uh, a big solo female, a uh, big soaring ballad, very uh, typical of Albania in the uh, Eurovision. But to the surprise of, and uh, somewhat outrage, naturally, uh, of many Euro fans, it didn't win. And in fact, um, none of those songs that I've mentioned were even in the top three. The results were all by jury only, so no uh, televoting, which obviously always makes it slightly more difficult to call. Uh, but the winner is Angela Peristeri with her song Karma. <laughs> Now, Angela uh, has been at Festival I Can Get before, uh, back in 2001, when I think she probably would have only been about 16. Uh, so, yes, yeah, good to see her go back almost 20 years later to win. Um, the song is, well, it's not, it's not quite like Albania's, often Albania's entries, which are those big female ballads. It is still, it does have those kind of big soaring vocals. It feels very Albanian as well, which is good to lots of, you know, those ethnic sounds. And, um, but it also has a bit of a rock element, rock, sort of you know, rock pop, rock ballad element as well. So it's, a, it's not quite as linear as perhaps some of the entries we get from Albania, although ultimately it's still a uh, female solo from Albania. Um, who knows what format it will be in by the time it gets to Eurovision. Albania do tend to change language, change, they give off and do different versions of it. So who knows if this will be what we will have uh, in Rotterdam. Uh, but for now, we have our first confirmed, you know, song and artist or winning finalist of the Eurovision season. Do join me again soon. Take care.